Hello guys today we have a movie called, Let the Right One In, also known as, Let Den Rat Kama In. In Swedish, it is a 2008 Swedish romantic horror film directed by Tomas Alfredsson, based on the 2004 novel of the same title by John Ogbyd Lindquist, who also wrote the screenplay. The film tells the story of a bullied 12-year-old boy who develops a friendship with a vampire child in Blackburg, a suburb of Stockholm, in the early 1980s. A film adaptation of Lindquist's novel began development in 2004 when John Nordling acquired the rights to produce the project. Alfredson, unconcerned with the horror and vampire conventions, decided to tone down many elements of the novel and focus primarily on the relationship between the two main characters and explore the darker side of humanity. Oscar, a meek 12-year-old boy, resides with his mother Yvonne in the western Stockholm suburb of Blackburg in 1982. His classmates regularly bully him, and he spends his evenings imagining revenge, collecting clippings from newspapers and magazines about murders. One night he meets Ellie, who appears to be a pale girl of his age. Ellie has recently moved into the next-door apartment with an older man, Hawken. Ellie initially informs Oscar that they cannot be friends. Over time, however, the two begin to form a relationship, Oscar asks Ellie her birthday but as she didn't know it and also as she never celebrated it Oscar gives his Rubik's Cube to Ellie. Earlier, Hawken stops and kills a passerby on a footpath to harvest blood for Ellie, but is interrupted by an approaching dog walker. Ellie is prompted to waylay and kill a local man, Jock, making his way home after having said goodnight to his best friend, Lack. A cat-loving recluse, Gosta, witnesses the attack from his flatbutt in disbelief, decides not to report the incident. Hawken hides Jock's body in an ice hole in the local lake. The next day Oscar prepares a Morse code to talk to Ellie when they are in their rooms as their rooms were right next to each other, and while leaving school he is again bullied by his classmates, he gets whipped by them and gets a cut in his face. Later Oscar meets up with Ellie again and Ellie asks him about the cut, and after knowing what had happened to him, she asks him to fight back and even if they are more in numbers, he needs to fight back harder and she is there to help him. And Oscar gives him the Morse code and they later talk to each other with the help of the codes. One night Oscar takes Ellie to a shop and gives her some candies but Ellie though hesitant to eat it at first, tries a candy for Oscar but then she throws up. Oscar feeling bad for her hugs her. Hawken makes another effort to obtain blood for Ellie by trapping a teenage boy in a changing room after school. When he is about to be discovered by the boy's friends, Hawken pours concentrated hydrochloric acid onto his own face, disfiguring it to prevent the authorities from identifying him. Ellie visits Hawken in the hospital, Hawken offers his neck to Ellie for feeding, and Ellie drains him of his blood. And he falls of the building. Ellie goes to Oscar's apartment and spends the night with him, and Oscar asks her why is she so cold, and during which they agree to, go steady, in their relationship, though Ellie states, that she's not a girl. During an ice skating field trip at the lake, some of the students discover Jock's body in the ice hole. At the same time, the bullies again harass Oscar but this time Oscar fights back and, hits their leader Connie in the head with a metal pole, splitting his ear. Some time later, unaware that Ellie is a vampire, Oscar visits Ellie in her apartment and suggests that he and Ellie form a blood bond, and cuts his hand, asking Ellie to do the same. Ellie, thirsting for blood but not wanting to harm Oscar, laps up his blood before running away. Lack's girlfriend, Virginia, is subsequently attacked by Ellie. Virginia survives but discovers that she has become painfully sensitive to sunlight. Virginia visits Gosta, only to be fiercely attacked by Gosta's cats. Soon after this, Oscar confronts Ellie, who admits to being a vampire. Ellie then visits Oscar's apartment but every time when she entered his house or room she always asked if she was allowed to come in, and she would come in only if, given the permission. And this time she asked for his permission again. But as Oscar found her this behavior weird, asks her about her weird behavior and taunts her to come in without actually giving permission, after all the taunting Ellie enters the apartment without his permission and then she suddenly starts shaking and start bleeding from everywhere and Oscar gets so scared he yells that, yes you are allowed to come in, and then the bleeding stops and he hugs her. 
In the hospital, Virginia asks an orderly to open the blinds in her room. When the sunlight streams in, Virginia bursts into flames. Black tracks Ellie down to the apartment. Breaking in, he discovers Ellie asleep in the bathtub. He prepares to kill Ellie, but Oscar interferes. Ellie wakes up, jumps on Lack and feeds on his blood, killing him. Oscar is initially upset by Ellie's need to kill people for survival. However, Ellie insists that they are alike, in that Oscar wants to kill, and Ellie needs to kill, and encourages Oscar to, be her, for a little while. Ellie thanks Oscar and kisses him. However, an upstairs neighbor is angrily knocking on the ceiling due to the disturbance. Ellie realizes that it is not safe to stay and says Oscar that she has to leave and then she leaves that night. The next morning, Oscar is lured out to resume the after-school fitness program at the local swimming pool by one of the classmates. Oscar then comes to the school and gets ready while, the bullies, led by Connie and his older brother Jimmy, start a fire to draw Mr. Avila, the supervising teacher, outside. They then enter the pool area and order the children, aside from Oscar, to clear out. Jimmy forces Oscar under the water, threatening to stab his eye out if he does not hold his breath for three minutes. While Oscar is being held underwater, we see a freaking dismembered head fly in the water and then the hands holding Oscar's head falls off, and then he gets pulled out by a hand and I guess you already guessed who it was. The only person left was the most reluctant one, Andreas, who is left sobbing on a nearby bench after witnessing what had happened. Later, Oscar is traveling on a train with Ellie in a box beside him. From inside, Ellie taps the word, kiss, to Oscar in Morse code, to which he taps back, small kiss. And there guys we have a good lovely ending. Have a good day guys, bye bye.